Hey, what's going on? Mike Hobbs here. And have you ever gone to YouTube and you've seen a video like this where it has a pretty cool end screen where it says subscribe, it has some buttons right next here, and it's all customized for the next videos and then the videos here in the corner. If you've ever seen this and wanted to do that, that's what I'm gonna be covering in this video, how you can create awesome end screens 100% for free and then you just throw them in whatever video editor that you're currently using and put it at the end of your video. And I'm gonna be walking you through that step by step on this video. So let's go ahead and go to my screen here. And the tool that we're going to be using is a tool called Canva. And they have an absolutely free level, as you can see right here, there's a free level that you can use and it has tons of templates and free templates. Now, obviously they have a pro version, which I personally have the pro version because I use Canva for almost everything, okay? So any of my images that I create and including the YouTube end screen videos they actually have in there and a lot of people don't know that. So you can pay for it if you'd like, but you can do an end screen for free inside of Canva. So we're just gonna go over there and I'll be using the free template. So here's the first thing you gotta do is you gotta know what to look for in order to find them because it's a little bit confusing in here, but what you're looking for is just go up to the search bar in the templates category here and you type in YouTube outros, okay? YouTube outro. You're gonna go ahead and click on that and then it's gonna give you a ton of free YouTube outros, some of them will be the pro version and when you highlight it over it, it'll say free in the bottom corner of the template and you can just go through and you can look at for all the different templates that you wanna do. You can even sort it over here, but let's just go ahead and pick one that is free. So let's pick this one right here and this is how simple it is to do this. A is how long do you want your end screen to be? At the end of your video, how long do you want it to be? All you gotta do is choose the timing up here at the top. So let's say we want to do the last 15 seconds. So we'll just make the end screen 15 seconds. It has animated stuff here. So as you can see, there's a little pointer to the next video here, another pointer for the next video. It says, thanks for watching. And this little cool thing here. And this is how easy it is to do this. You can actually go over here. You can add elements to this if you'd like. Obviously, I'm not gonna add that element, but this makes it super simple to control and edit the way that you want it. I'm not gonna do any editing right here, but I'm just showing you where to go in order to do this. But one of the things I will show you is if you want your video, so let's say you just wanna cut the end of your video, the last 15 seconds of the video, and make it an end screen like this, here's what I'd suggest. I'd suggest moving this up a little bit and leaving room for your video. So let's just delete some of this stuff. All of this is, you can edit it as well. So let's just go ahead and edit this up a little bit. Okay, so it says, thanks for watching. And we're gonna put our video in the corner right here. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So this is done. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on download, MP4, download. All right, and now we've got our first end screen. And if you think that this feature is pretty cool inside of Canva, go ahead and give us a thumbs up for sharing it with you below this video. And let's go ahead and get right into the editor. And then I'll also show you what to do inside of YouTube. So let's go ahead and go over there. All right, so we're in the editor. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, this is just a video I did recently. So I'm gonna go to the last 15 seconds of the video whatever, and this will work for any editor that you're using. And whatever editor you're in, you're just going to split the clip just like you normally would. This is not a tutorial on editing, but I'm just showing you what I would do. So now you have this last 15 second clip. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the file that we saved from Canva and we're gonna insert it into our editor here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it in. All right, so there we go. We drag the file in there. And as you can see, it's not quite the, the exact. So we're just gonna go here and we're gonna cut the clip there to make it exact. 
So now what we do is we're just gonna make our original video smaller. So you're just gonna highlight your original video and we're going to make this, okay? So let's just so play it a little bit. Let's just go in the, right there. Okay, so we're gonna make the original video tiny and we're gonna move it over into this little spot right here where you said, thanks for watching. And now check this out. So let's just watch the end of this. Now you might not be able to hear it very well, but I'll just. So thankful that everyone here resonates with, with those things. Okay, so one thing I did notice is it has some audio in there with it. So I'm gonna detach that audio real quick and then delete, okay? That way it doesn't interfere. So there we go. So watch this. So thankful that everyone here resonates with, with those things. So that's the end of the video. That's what's gonna pop up at the end of your videos now. Once you've split it, you just put it under there. It's gonna pop up at the end of your videos. And again, you can customize it. You can make it look a lot cooler than the way that I did it. But one other thing I would like to show you is where you would go to edit this inside of YouTube. So you just go to one of your videos, you edit it, and then go over here to the end screen. So when you're in the editing screen, you're just gonna click on this end screen. And then at the end of the video, you're gonna go the last 15 seconds, just like we did. And then you're going to basically add these little elements and there's, you can add multiple elements. So if, for example, this end screen only has one video. So let me delete that real quick for you. So it only has one little slot right here. So I'm gonna add this real quick. So I'll just add a element and I'll click video. And then I can put that video right over the little box that you created on your end screen. And then if you added a subscribe button, you can go ahead and click add element and you can add subscribe. So then you can add a little subscribe box in the subscribe spot in your end screen that you had. And then obviously just match it up. If you had two videos, then you would add another element and click video. And this time you would do best for viewer, most likely. And then your most recent video, most likely, something like that. And, uh, or you can choose a specific one. As you can see, there's most recent, there's best for viewer, and there's specific video right here. So you can just match it up with the end screen that you created in Canva and go ahead and save it. I'm gonna discard this because this is, doesn't make sense right now. And that is literally how you create an end screen for your video. And I hope you got value from this. So if you would like to learn a little bit more about what I do online, you can go over to seekprosperity.com. I have a $3,000 per month formula that I created and I go over it 100% for free and teach you how you can create $3,000 a month in income. So go over to seekprosperity.com. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.